everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, today we're gonna to be doing a straight pour, sort of. This is going to be a wandering ring pour, but with the straight pour consistency and paint that I would use for cells. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but I wanted it to be just something soft and warm. I did um, something with similar colors, the last painting uh, with a black background, and it is so dramatic, it is so beautiful. But I wanted to do that with something a little more calming and peaceful. So, the colors that we have, this base coat is a custom blend. I'll show you the consistency real quick. This is about a two and a half on my consistency scale. It's a bit thicker. It makes a mound, but it disappears pretty quickly. Whenever I'm using metallics, I go a little bit thicker. Normally, I would probably do a one or a two. This custom blend is a mixture of Artist Loft Unbleached Titanium a bit of the burnt umber and raw umber. It's just a nice, soft, warm color. The cell makers that we have today, it is Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in soft gold, ivory pearl, and sterling silver. Now, the silver is not a warm color, especially when you look at these together. This is a cooler color, but I feel like it would give it a little more depth to have just that little peaking of, of a cooler color popping through. So we'll see what happens. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute, but if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards. Each technique card has an associated video here on YouTube, full tutorial, all of the information that you need with the consistency and the recipe and all that stuff. This box here has a tip for that particular technique. There is the color palette that goes along with it. And then these two boxes can be used together as the basis of a two color palette, or just pick those two colors and add other colors to it. There are also eight bonus color palette cards. Each color palette card has five color palettes. Use all of the colors, just use some of the colors mix and match the color palettes with the techniques and you have hundreds of thousands of combinations. This is available at my website, ginadeluca.net. The first thing I'm going to do is put some of my base color into the cup to make sure I don't accidentally short myself. Okay, that's about two ounces in there. That is going to be plenty. I'll put that to the side. And ooh, now for the base coat. You see I've painted my sides first. Straight pores can sometimes be very thin and sometimes the paints don't want to stick to the sides. I mean, that can just happen anyway. So I find that if I make my base coat the same color as I'm making my straight pour or whatever the base color is, I don't have any unwanted colors popping through. My edges are covered. 
I've had people ask, why don't you just use white? Well, because I'm not really using white in this painting. And if there was a bubble in that white base coat, and it popped up through my painting, it's going to stand out like a sore thumb because it's not supposed to be there. So I make my base coat the same color as what I call the background of my straight pour, which is going to be the color that does not sell. All right, I'm going to pour this from up high. I want these colors to blend. I want them to sink. So I'm going to start with the ivory pearl. When you pour it from up high, it has a little more velocity as it's going in and a better chance of sinking. And now the gold, soft gold. If I didn't mention, these paints have been mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol. And then that mixture is thinned with my concoction of 90% water and 10% Floetrol until I get the consistency that I want. Didn't want to leave that out. Well, I already like what is happening in the cup, color-wise. Here comes the silver. Oh, this is already, already looking good to me. Okay, here goes nothing. Well, we'll see what happens with that. It might get tilted off. <laughs> but what I want it to happen is happening. The way that they're blending. So, so far, so good. Pop the bubbles. Lots and lots of bubbles when you do a straight pour. Okay, well, it looks like it wants to go this way first. I'm going to tilt very slowly. You will get the best control over your composition if you exhibit exquisite patience. Oh, that silver, that silver in there, it's just glowing. It just that cool color just barely poking through there is amazing. And 
I think I'm going to get some pretty cool multicolor cells. Bring the paint back to center before changing directions. I'm just going to keep going across because it looks like that's setting up nicely. Okay, again, bringing it back to center. The weight of your paint. You need to become aware of where the weight of your paint is. That's going to be where it's moving fastest. And if you know where the weight of your paint is, you can really get the corners with the most efficiency where you're not wasting too much paint and you're also able to keep your composition kind of how you want it and I'm giving this one a good stretch I want these colors to blend and make amazing cells. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit and do what it does. And I just love, love, love this combination. Hopefully it'll show up better in the close-ups because it looks like the background brown is looking a little darker than uh, it is in person. But, uh, yeah. Oh, they just blended so beautifully. And that silver, I'm happy with that call. It just gives a little bit of like, brightness to it where it, it has this inner glow. Okay, I'm going to clean up and I will bring you in for a close-up. Back in a few. Okay, here it is. This is so pretty and soft. It's so much prettier in person. This is just not picking up the colors. The way that I'm seeing them with the naked eye. But it has a very molten metal effect going on. Super blingy, but soft. Really, um, I'm so pleased with uh, how these paints played together. It just looks like it's glowing. It's like it's lit. This painting is lit. But there it is. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you found this helpful. Sharing is caring. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. My Amazon link 
If you enter through that link, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I will receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. Also in the description box, you will find the link to my website, ginadeluga.net, where you can find my art, music, and fluid art inspiration cards for sale. This part looks so 3D. That shadow, oh, so pretty. Um, and also in the description box, you will find the link to our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art. Join us there. Post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. You can just see how the light hits it differently from different angles. But uh, yeah, so that is it for this one. Just stay tuned for a moment and I will show you the black piece from last video. Okay, this is the piece from the last video. Very, very dramatic. And oh my gosh, it just jumps off of that canvas. This is going to be stunning when it's varnished. Really, really beautiful. And you can see the black background color is glossy and the paints that sell are matte. That is my basis behind my straight pores and how I know what will get cells and what won't. That's how I roll. Okay. Well, that is it for me for today. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.